Hey fellas, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to add breakable walls to your easy FPS editor project. Also, I'm using a new microphone today, so let me know if you prefer this one or my old one. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to TJ of TJ's Creation Kit. He taught me how these breakable walls work. Help me with the FSM and everything. Be sure to check out his Western FPS that he's busy making. Looking really, really cool. And he also has an advanced EFPS -E template out now on Edge.io. It's basically a complete project that comes with weapons, enemies, scripting logic, a bunch of cool stuff that you can just go ahead and start using. I'll leave the link in the description. If you're able to, make sure to support him for all his hard work and efforts. Also, if you're new to Easy FPS Editor and you need some help or want to ask some questions, feel free to join my Discord. We've got a lot of helpful, knowledgeable people in here who are always willing to help out. We usually get together almost daily now and just share ideas, uh, show each other what we're doing in the engine and helping each other out. It's a very friendly environment, so feel free to join anytime. Even join in on the chat and I'm sure you'll gain some useful knowledge or some cool ideas at least. And I also want to thank everyone who's joined the Discord recently. And if you haven't joined yet, think about it. Okay, so these breakable walls, how do they work? Basically, you can see it's these uh, decorations I have set up here. So they aren't actually walls per se. They are fake walls that are actually disguised as decorations. So what you do is you add your decoration here. I have my brick wall and then you just Add it here in the decorations. You can make sure it's breakable and delete after break. And then you go to the 3D model configurator. You add it in here. And then you add a 3D model into this part here. And then basically it will set your decoration up as a 3D model. And if you get the if you get the size right, it'll act as a wall. It'll look no different to a wall that you place in the engine. So for example, here's a normal wall. And then here's my breakable wall. Right next to each other and as you can see there isn't much of a difference i notice now that this one's a bit lighter otherwise you wouldn't really be able to tell so it's basically just a decoration that's acting as a wall this is the wall this is the breakable wall good way to add like secret areas to your game or something like that so i'll just run you through the process of how i made this happen i'm sure there's other ways to do it but i'll show you my way the way I was taught. The first thing you'll do is open a program called Blockbench. It's used to make like Minecraft style models and I guess like simpler 3D models. You could use Blender as well if you're smart like that. But I do not have the uh, knowledge. I've tried it out and my laptop couldn't really handle it either. So I've resorted to Blockbench and it's been quite fun actually. I'm still learning this program but I can at least show you how to make these breakable walls using this. So the first thing is click on generic model, create new model. Then this apparently you don't even have to worry about, just cancel it. Then you go here to add mesh. We want a cuboid so we can keep the diameter at 16 and make the height 16 as well. Confirm. We have our cube here. Then we'll just need a texture as well. So you go import textures. Today I'm going to make a breakable stone wall, so I'll use this image here. Then you go back to your cuboid, right click, texture, and choose stone. Then you can adjust each face, like this. Or you can just click on face selection mode, and then control, left click, drag. Then it'll highlight all the faces, and then you can go here and drag your texture to whatever size you want. I'm gonna go for 128 by 128, like that. And now it's done. Now we have our cube. Then we'll go to File, Export. Now in Easy FPS Editor, I think it does support FBX and OBJ, but I've been doing GLTF for these breakable walls. So we'll do that now. And then this I leave alone because I'm not sure what it means. Then for Model Export Scale, I change it to 32. 
then you can embed the textures and we don't need export animations because there are no animations. Then we'll go confirm. Then we can save this here. And I just save it here in my 3D models folder. Cool, so this part's done. You can close this now. Then the next step is to go to your Easy FPS Editor folder. I'm using the latest Alpha 46 version. Then you go to Project. Go to your project. I'm going to use Testy Test Area for now. Then we go to Models. And then we'll need our 3D model that we just made. Here it is, Stone. So we copy Stone and paste it here in our project folder. Project, project name, Models. And then we'll need the texture that we used as well. So I just need to go find that now quickly. I think it's here in Tiny Texture Pack by Screaming Brain Studios. Stone. And yeah, it was this one. So we can copy that texture and then paste it in here. Now, another important step is to name your texture the same thing as your 3D model. So this will be called Stone as well. You can see they all match. So box and box, brick, brick, stone, stone table team so now that we have our 3d model and our texture in the models folder we can open up easy fps editor again i'm opening my testy test project then first step is decoration settings under entity settings and we can name our decoration here again it'll be stone so everything should be just be named the same thing the texture the 3d model and the decoration tick tick then we go here, make it breakable, and delete after break. Also have it solid and lit. Um, when you don't have it lit, it looks kind of funny sometimes. So I just keep it lit. Tick those four boxes there. Then if you did make your model too big or too small, you can change the scale here, and that should fix it up. But that's all you need for now. You don't have to add any sprites or anything here right now. Now it's here under entities and decorations. So there's our stone. Then the next step is Advanced Tools, 3D Model Configurator. Then we click on this little folder, click on Stone, select. Then we go right down to the bottom here, World Model, click on this folder. So it'll open you up here by your models folder within your project. And you won't see it yet because it's looking for MD3 models, which is recommended. But you can change it to FBX, GLTF, OBJ, or whatever that is. So we're looking for GLTF and there's our stone model. So click on that, open. And now this part's done. We click accept. Then we click on our decoration and let's place it here and see if it works. And there we go. There's our new 3D model, stone wall. I do have the breakable bricks over here as well. really fun <laughs> so here's our breakable wall you can shoot it oh wait one more step I forgot to change the health value so it, it starts default with 100 health but you can change it to like one health so it'll break instantly if you hit it but so far it's working we just need to add those particle effects like you saw with these walls so we'll need to open notepad plus plus or whatever text editing software you have then we'll start a new file and I'll just show you my brick breakable wall as reference. So I have the image of brick, which is just zero and one. Then I have these three sounds as well for when you break them. Then we just have the idle state, the hurt state, but most important is the death state and then dead and none. So what I have here is a variable. It's set variable sound. We have it at random. It randomizes between zero and three. So it randomizes between these three different sounds I have. And then on this frame, it'll play the sound, dollar sign sound. That's how that works. I can't explain it any further because this was just what TJ showed me. This is his knowledge here, but it works. So thanks again, TJ, for helping me out with this. And then on this line, we have the particles. I'm spawning in two different sets of particles on the same frame. So these particles go a bit to the left and then these particles go a bit to the right. And then these values, it is explained here in the wiki. 
here you can scroll down to FSM and then it's somewhere, yeah, there it is, particles. And it explains what those uh, numbers mean. So first is the image index, creates particles. Next one is number of sprites loaded, then the number of particles, the particle lifetime, and then the XYZ coordinates, which are local to the enemy or player. And then we have the X, Y, and Z vertical side and forward offset, and also particle velocity. Again, a lot of this just goes right over my head, but I'm happy to say that what I put here works. So feel free to copy this if you like. <laughs> so this will be for our new stone decoration. So first is image stone zero to one, because there's only one image I'm using. Then you can add your sound effects here, which I think I'll do right now. I'll actually just use these same sound effects. So I'm gonna copy this over, paste it there, and then enter, enter to move on to our states. I'm realizing now I can just, I can just copy all of this. It'll work the same. The only difference will be the image and possibly the sounds if you have different sounds. But I'll be reusing these same sounds from my brick wall. So this is all good now, that's all sorted. I'll make sure there's no spaces at the end of my lines. Now we can save this state file, go to file, save as and okay cool i'm ready here but just to show you you go to your easy fps editor project projects folder your map or your project name then go down to states just like with enemies and weapons it all goes in the same states folder and then again we'll name it the same thing as the model the texture and decoration the stone dot states we'll save it there but now we do have to go and add the particle image to our folder as well. So here's our project folder, our models folder. We can go back and then go to sprites, decorations, and then we can add our particle effects here. So I do have a breakable box using these sprites that TJ sent me. And then I have my brick wall using these sprites that I made myself actually. Pretty proud of those. So how I made these brick particles, I took my wall texture and then just took a brick out of each of them copied it and then just made a new file 64 by 64 and then i just placed the bricks around here uh, rotated them a bit added some like cracking effects you know stuff like that and then i made uh, my own custom particles here like this and this one which is a bit bigger this is 128 by 128, and this is 64 by 64. That's one way to make your own particles from your existing texture. I did find some rock particles though online. I'm gonna use these particles here. So now that you have your FSM for the particles saved, we'll go to our project folder, and then we go down to sprites, decorations. And as you can see, we have stone here already. So there's my brick, there's my box. And then we're going to take that particle and we'll copy it into here. And then we'll name it stone one. Because according to this, it's particles one. So it's going to look for that number. And then the particles will be named the same thing as your object. I hope I'm making sense. Just know that it works. We'll, we'll see that it works just now. All right, cool. So now you have your decoration set up here, loaded with the 3D model. Your FSM is saved to your states folder and your particles are in your decorations folder. Then hopefully it should work. One thing I'll change is the health. I want it to break instantly. So I'll just give it one health, accept. All right, here it is. And there it goes. I'm really glad it worked the first time. This is great. And then here's my bricks for comparison. You can see it has two sets of particles. Some going to the left and some going to the right. Ah, of course, I forgot something. The sound effect. So for the sound effects, go back to your projects folder and then go to sounds. And then you'll paste them here. But I just realized they're already here since I'm using them for the other wall. So it's actually all good. Let's place a few more of these. And then we can go up a floor as well and stack them on top of each other. Looking nice. 
The only thing you might want to change is the size of the particles. These are 128 by 128, and these ones are 64 by 64. So they're not too big. But yeah, there we go. Thanks again to TJ and everyone who's been helping me out in my Discord. I appreciate you all. So our next tutorial will be about how I added this table using a very special technique. And we'll be touching on how to use a program called Noesis as well. Thank you for watching. That's how you add breakable walls to your Easy FPS Editor project. Again, if you're new to this engine and you need some help, then join the Discord, join us in the dev chat, and I'll see you there then. And just a reminder that I do have a Kofi or Kofi going, and that's gonna help me get a proper PC so I can finally retire this 10 year old laptop. So if you can help out in any way, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.